Welcome to High Infidelity. The best cheating videos on YouTube. If you enjoy this content, remember to subscribe and turn on notifications. Now let's get into the video. Wife cheated with her ex. More than a year ago, I, 33 male, found that my wife of nearly 3 years, 28 female, was using birth control pills when we were attempting to conceive. The issue was that she pretended to be trying to become pregnant and took one or two pregnancy tests along the road to show me she wasn't. When I discovered she was lying to me, I was devastated. We had a dispute, and I decided to spend a few days at a hotel thinking things through. I liked her, and still do, so I decided to give her a second opportunity. She told me that she didn't feel ready to have a kid because of her hard job, she founded her own business, and that she changed her mind along the road, but she didn't want to inform me because she didn't want to upset me. At this time, I agreed to move in, and a few days later, I overheard her on the phone discussing an affair with her ex. She warned him not to discuss what had transpired between them, and that it was a mistake. They only meet one other for business reasons, she established her own company, and he knows individuals who can assist her. He was continually hitting on her and I made it a point to tell her on many times that I didn't approve of them working together. I was sad, I couldn't put my head around the reality that she was her ex while I was trying so hard to forgive her for lying to me. I confronted her, there was a lot of sobbing, and she attempted to tell me that it was a one-time occurrence, but as I left, she panicked and believed I was abandoning her. She also said that they simply had oral with no penetration or anything else. I'm still not convinced. I finally left her for good this time and filed her with divorce papers a few weeks later, but she discovered she was pregnant. I wanted her to take a patterning test because, even though she was assuring me it was mine, I couldn't believe a word she said. When she was around 8 weeks pregnant, she took the test and verified it was my. My lawyer recommended me to halt the divorce proceedings and wait till she delivered birth before divorcing her. When she gave birth. I moved back in to assist her care for the kid. She ultimately persuaded me to go to couples counseling, and I wanted to give her another opportunity. This time, I informed her that I required honesty and that she needed to cease communicating with her ex. Our child is now 7 months old. She didn't set a password on her phone and constantly disclosed her whereabouts with me, I could see she was attempting to regain my confidence. The trouble is that I can't totally trust her. I have to second guess everything she says, check her phone, her whereabouts, and I become jealous when she's with other guys. She was just out of town for business last week, and when her old college girlfriend hosted a party, her ex was present, but I just found out from one of her friend's Instagram posts. I questioned her on the subject. We got into a violent disagreement, and she told me she didn't want to tell me he was there because she knew I'd be envious. I can't help but assume that something occurred between them again and she's lying. I feel like she's taking advantage of how much I love her to continue to harm me. Please advise me on how I might regain my faith in her. Update, I just wanted to thank everyone who took the time to offer me advice, as well as everyone who took the time to talk with me and advise me privately. I simply want to emphasize that my wife is financially self-sufficient and does not rely on me to provide for her. I adore spending time with our kid, I don't consider myself to be a babysitter, but rather a parent. I had numerous talks with my wife, and she eventually revealed that that night it was more than just oral, that they had intercourse throughout the night, and that she left the following morning before work. I demanded all the specifics, it was terrible but I wanted to know what truly occurred. She told me she was captivated by him, that he reminded her of what they might have had together, but she messed up and was sorry. At this point, I realized she wasn't giving me the full truth, she was cherry-picking what she told me to make herself appear like the victim. I decided to call her ex while she was gone, and he verified that they only had that night, and after my wife turned coal on him when I discovered the two of them were having an affair. Then, a few weeks later, she contacted him, sobbing, to tell him she was pregnant and that he may be the father, we were separated, and I even served her with the divorce. She ultimately forced her ex to take a paternity test and planned to get an abortion if he was the father. 
He further verified that when they ran across one other again, she just said hello and departed the party. I was ready to divorce her at this time, but I had set a deadline for her to tell me the truth. She ultimately confessed to me before the deadlines, and no, she wasn't in communication with her ex, since I had her phone with me at all times, and we had a horrible confrontation in which I told her she could leave me if she wanted and that I had no intention of keeping her hostage. She told me how much she loves me, that the affair was a mistake, that she was concealing the truth because she didn't want to upset me, and that she understands she messed up but wants to make things work. On Valentine's Day, I surprised her with a polygraph test. I told her we were going out to lunch, and when we were in the parking lot, I informed her that I had spoken to her ex and knew more than she did, and that this was her final opportunity to tell me all that had transpired. She took the lie detector test without arguing with me, confirming everything about the affair and dispelling any doubts I had about her going to the gym, flirting with other males, and sometimes taking off her rings while she's out with her friends. We had a few disagreements over the last several days, which ended in her fainting, or having a temperature, lack of appetite, and a lot of weeping. And she seemed to be guilty. I madly love my wife, and I know a lot of you will call me an idiot for making this choice, but the heart wants what it wants, and I can't resist it. I am aware that I am voluntarily making the option to be with her, which entails continually policing her. I'm thinking of giving her the next two weeks as a trial run. I made it plain what I expected from her to see if she really wants our marriage to thrive, and she has so far shown that she wants me to forgive her. Story 2 My wife cheated on me. Advice? My wife betrayed me a few months ago. It's difficult to acknowledge. I was concerned since she had been behaving strangely and going out for no apparent reason. Around that moment, I snooped on her phone. There was a photo of a nude male at a hotel, as well as a photo of her at a luxury restaurant two days later, both when I was at work. She denied it for hours on end, making excuses. We had a tremendous fight that night. She admits to seeing him three times, once at a hotel, but says they didn't have, not a chance, right? Prior to it, we had a good relationship for the most part. We had little squabbles, as many couples do, but nothing that couldn't be worked out. We were inseparable, we traveled everywhere together, vacationed together, cooked for one other, and had a fantastic life. I never snooped on her phone or even considered it. I could never have imagined this happening to me. But I didn't want to end things right away after that disagreement. Despite my best efforts, I continue to adore the girl. She says she cut contact, which is correct as far as I am aware. She went out of her way to do most of the housework and attempt to do pleasant things for me, such as purchasing me presents and cooking me wonderful meals. Things have gotten a little better, but not quite as good as they used to be. But I still have trust difficulties. I know, I told her, and I'm sure she can tell even if I don't tell her. Can these obstacles be overcome? Perhaps I haven't put in enough time or effort. I snooped on her computer in a moment of weakness slash dullness. The computer images, with all of the most current ones being of us or recent events, our trips together, outings, our wedding, etc. However, I continued to browse through previous photos, shouldn't have, I know, and discovered that she had a lot of additional images and films from her past. There are films of her having with at least three other guys, as well as images of her naked slash having with more than ten others. As far as I can determine, all of them were before to our meeting, so it's truly her own private matter. I'm still troubled by the fact that she's storing these videos. What the heck is this? Also, while it pains me to say it, the amount of men worries me as well. I should have stopped searching after the first few, but it's too late now. She constantly informed me that after she broke up with someone, she removed any traces of her previous relationships. Well, both of those statements were false since I recognized one of the men with whom she converses, maybe a few times a year, but still. Why would you lie about it? I'm at a loss for words right now. I'm disturbed, wounded, sad, angry, bewildered, and a variety of other emotions.
My trust problems are getting the best of me, but I still love her and want to forgive her. What am I supposed to do?